it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite outfits to wear to Disneyland or honestly just like amusement parks in general. So I'm going to be showing you guys five outfits. Is it six? Five or six. I'm not sure. Ranging from the most casual, comfy, laid back look all the way to the most pretty dressed up girly kind of style. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to watch more Disney videos, I will have a link in the description to my Disney playlist. I make I make a lot of Disney videos and I love making them. So if you want more, make sure to let me know down in the comments. The first outfit is definitely my most casual and what I typically wear if it's warm outside and I'm planning on staying in the parks all day. These denim shorts from Target are perfect for a Disney day because they're long enough that they stop the chub rub. Very important since there's going to be a lot of walking. They're lightweight denim so they won't be too hot or heavy and they're high waisted so they still flatter my hips and my curves. I'm wearing a basic tee from Express that's tied at the bottom. I really like tying my shorts like this because I feel like it makes me look less frumpy, you know, like it kind of shows my hips a little more. I decided to wear my Monsters University hat since it matched so well with this outfit and I tied a flannel around my waist. Now, I love wearing a flannel like this at theme parks for a few reasons. First, it adds a pop of color to the outfit, makes it a little bit cuter than just a basic t-shirt and shorts. Second, it adds some coverage to the back of my thighs. So if I'm sitting on a ride, my skin isn't like touching the seat, you know, I just, I just don't like that. And third, when it gets cold at night, I take the flannel off from around my waist and wear it as a shirt. It'll keep me warm enough through the fireworks, especially on a summer night, so I don't have to lug around a big jacket with me all day. Now, if it's a colder day, but I'm still trying to be comfy, I'll usually go with something like this. I'm wearing my blue Disneyland spirit jersey, black leggings, sparkly silver ears, and my Adidas sneakers. This spirit jersey is obviously from Disneyland. I love it, it's so comfy, and this color is my favorite. But if you do buy one of these, I would definitely recommend sizing down as they are very loose fitting. I got a medium, and you can see it's still perfectly oversized for me. And the spirit jerseys are longer, so it's perfect to pair with leggings since your booty will be covered by the spirit jersey. These leggings are from Lululemon and they have a little pocket on the side, which is great because then I could just slide my phone and annual pass in there for quick access throughout the day. This third look is a great Disney outfit for when you wanna try just the slightest bit harder than the first two, but still be pretty comfortable. I'm wearing these pink soft shorts from Madewell, this cute little Disney tee from My Oh My Supply that says everything is satisfaction, my go-to denim jacket also from Madewell, and black sparkly ears with a metallic blue bow. Soft shorts like these are awesome for Disneyland because they literally move and feel like running shorts, but make for a really cute outfit paired with the right top. The elastic waist is also great for girls with a curvy figure or hourglass shape because you can size up for shorts that are loose enough in the legs while still ensuring a good fit in the waist. I think the gray Disney tee is so adorable. It's a reference to Splash Mountain, by the way, if you didn't get that. And layering the denim jacket over the top really ties the whole look together. Also, what's great is that the outfit looks fine with and without the jacket, so you can always take it off and shed a layer if it's too hot during the day. Okay, so I love Disney bounding. In this outfit, I'm Disney bounding as Jane from Tarzan. Can you see the resemblance? If you didn't know, it's actually against the park rules for anyone over the age of 12, I think, to wear a costume in the Disneyland parks. So adult Disney fans like me have taken to Disney bounding, which is when you wear modern clothes, not a costume, that reflect the color, the style, or the essence of a character. Jane's dress is yellow, so I went with these flowy yellow shorts from Urban Outfitters, and she's also wearing little white gloves and a white collared shirt, so I wore this white v-neck tee. Jane also has her little purple necktie, so I incorporated purple into my outfit with my backpack and my bralette. Jane wears a little bucket hat throughout the movie, so I went with a more modern style that still captured that jungle adventure type feel. And that's really what Disney bounding is all about, capturing the feel of a character with your outfit without dressing in an exact costume. My last outfit gives off all the Fantasyland vibes. I think this look is so cute. I'm wearing a red romper from Urban Outfitters, floral kimono from American Eagle, and these flower crown ears that look DIY, but I actually bought them in the park. 
I think they are the perfect way to tie this outfit together and kind of Disney-fy it. Like I said earlier, I am all about comfort at Disney. So if I do feel like dressing up a little bit more, I'll go with a romper like this instead of a dress. Lightweight kimonos like this are also great to add a fun pattern to a more simple outfit and they protect your shoulders from the sun, which Disney sunburns can be pretty wicked. <laughs> this outfit is definitely the cutest of the bunch, but still comfortable and perfect for a Disney day. Which Disney outfit was your favorite? Which one like fits your personal style the best? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see more Disney videos like this, click that card right up there for my ultimate Disneyland and California Adventure parks guide. It has a lot of tips and life hacks and just kind of like how I do the parks because I am an annual pass holder. I go a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on Tuesday with another new video. Bye.